Alright everybody, hail and welcome back to another episode of Midgard Musings and this is episode 6 of the Words of Wisdom mini-series that I'm running here on the channel and today I've got a guest with me, you may recognize him from one other video, uh, he was a guest uh, and his name is Greg, Greg Strong from the Raven Moonhearth. Uh, so everybody welcome Greg and Greg, introduce yourself real quick. Hello everyone, um, again my name is Greg, I'm the uh, current chieftain of Raven Moon Hearth here in Middle Tennessee. Um, Hail, and welcome. Appreciate you being here, Greg. Guys, today's uh, discussion of the Hogamol series that we like to do uh, every so many days of the week, about three days of the week right now, uh, Greg has agreed to be a guest, um, uh, kind of co-host with me here. So he's going to be, I'm going to be reading from uh, part of this, uh, the Hogamol that I read from, which is the Dr. Jackson Crawford Wanderers Hogamol. And then Greg has got maybe one or two different varieties that he's going to be reading from, and I'll let him show you or tell you uh, what he's going to be reading from, and then we'll get into telling you which stand is where we're going to be talking about. Um, I have a bunch that I brought, but I'm only going to be reading from uh, uh, two. I've got uh, The Words of Odin by uh, Robin Artisan, and then I'm also going to be uh, reading partially from the website uh, heathengods.com. Um, they have a whole bunch of uh, different uh, the different interpretations. Yeah, different translations. So it's a great resource. So I'm sure there's a lot of folks out here that may not have their own hard copy of the Hovamal or, or a copy of the Poetic Edit in general that contains the Hovamal. Uh, that website, I'll link it all down in the description and show you guys where you can find it. But a great resource. So the random stanza for today is going to be uh, stanza 24. I'm going to go ahead and read from the... Wanderers haul them all, and then I'm going to uh, let Greg read from his version or versions, um, and then we're going to discuss a little bit and just get a little bit of a dialogue, you know. Usually what I do is I'll share with you guys what I think about it, and then I'll, and, you know, I'll invite your uh, opinions and, and feedback down in the comments, but today is going to be just a little bit different since we got Greg here. So, uh, getting right into it, um, stanza 24 uh, in the Dr. Jackson Crawford Wanderers haul them all translation reads, an unwise man thinks anyone who laughs with him is his friend. He doesn't understand that the wise are mocking him, even when he overhears them. Let's turn it over to Greg and see what his version says. <clears throat> the unwise man thinks that everyone who laughs with him is his friend, and he can never recognize that they are speaking poorly of him when he sits among the wise. Uh, that's from Words of Odin, and um, this is uh, one of the ones from Heathen Gods. It's the Bray version. Oliver Bray. Oliver Bray. I think I have that one too somewhere laying around. It's a pretty decent one. But... There's a ton of them out there, and they're worth getting a bunch of different copies just to see what different people are translating them as mm -hmm. so you get a better idea of what the whole is uh, but Bray says the unwise man weans all who smile and flatter him are his friends nor notes how oft they speak him ill when he sits in the circle of the wise yeah so I think um, especially you know what I like to do with these is get a little bit of a uh, you know these things were written down thousands of years ago, whatever it was, hundreds of hundreds of years ago, uh, before we were all walking around here in Midgard, but this, some of these things still definitely ring true today, and I think that especially this, because what this, this particular stanza says to me is that um, just because you are popular by the crowd, just because people will want to speak good of you to your face or laugh with you and make you feel like you're great and important, doesn't mean that they are truly your friends, because they could turn around after you're out of earshot um, and say these things that are totally opposite about you. So don't get this false sense of friendship from people. Um, and the reason why I think it's so valid now in modern times is, you know, I've talked about stuff like this on the channel before. We have these platforms like YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or all these things that, you know, everybody wants to be validated by a like or a follow or a, a subscription or something. And that could tend to, if you're a fool, Lead to make, you know lead you could be led to think that people really like you when in fact that's not the case. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let me just read real quick. Uh, in the words of Odin, um, 
he, for a, a number of his uh, translations, he actually has little things that he adds to them um, to help understand them a little bit better. <clears throat> and uh, what uh, Robin Artisan says here, um, Baltazar Gratian writes, A fool is someone who cannot recognize another fool. This inability springs from the fact that fools cannot see the foolishness in themselves. Not being able or unwilling to see it in themselves, they have become quite good at ignoring what is in the world around them and revising it to suit what they want to believe. The fool can't see that the laughter of people at his, at his expense is an indictment of his foolishness. He rests in the delusion that all is well and that he is quite the clever, well-liked person. <clears throat> Um, I was actually talking with Jesse a little bit before uh, before we came in here to do this. There was a YouTube video that I saw. Um, this gentleman was talking about how he was uh, pruning some trees that he had in front of his property. And he had this one beautiful tree and there was this uh, vine that was wrapping around it. Um, and it was starting to strangle it off. So some of the, uh, the leaves were turning brown and starting to kill the tree. Um, I personally think this has a lot to do with this particular stanza because if you surround yourself by people who are constantly glad-handing you, who are constantly uh, like singing your praises, they're not telling you the truth. Um, and like a lot of times the truth when it comes from a friend, um, you know, isn't necessarily something pleasant or, you know, profitable in a, a materialistic sense. Um, like we, uh, we need those people around us who are willing to tell us the deep, dark, like, things that are wrong. Say it like us. it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And I can agree with that. Like, I kind of feel like this is, this is a, along those lines where, um, you know, you, you don't want people constantly telling you, like, oh, you're great. Because, let's be honest, you know, most of us, not. if not all of <laughs> us, uh, have a lot of things that are wrong with us. And you can't grow and become a better person if you don't know what those are or if you're unwilling to recognize them those are wise words and i think it's very very i appreciate your insight on it and i and i tend to agree you know guys um i ask for a lot of feedback on here and i'm always interested in what everybody has to say uh but I, i'm most interested in honest feedback and honesty you know if this was absolute garbage and if you can give me some constructive criticism tell me why or if you know whatever the case may be um that's what I need to do. That's what I need to know in order to be able to grow. And I think that's what we should all aim for. Don't be flattered. Don't don't take those surface level flatteries as as an indication that you're on the right track. Be wise to understand that there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you may not know, and uh, it, it could be against what you think is is going on just on the surface. Yep. And that's not to say that you need to be a a prick to your friends all the time either but right. like when it comes right down to brass tacks you know like you want the people around you who are going to say like listen you're screwing up and here's what i'm seeing uh, those are the sort of people that are going to be with you you know five or ten years down the road not the people who are constantly you know telling you oh you're amazing because as soon as something else better comes along they're out the door right and i would personally rather have you know, friends who uh, periodically tell me, hey, you're a schmuck. Like, here's yeah. what you need to do to be a better person. You need those checks and balances, you know? Some days you're off, some days you're on, but if you're really on that off cycle, you need that person or persons to reel you back in. So, uh, everybody, that's today's video, and we hope that you liked it and we're anxious to see what your thoughts are. So be sure to head down in the comments section and voice your thoughts, check the description areas for not only ways that you can support Midgard Musings, but for all the ways, that, uh, some of the sources that Greg uh, was pulling from earlier. And then uh, check out Raven Moonhearth on Facebook. They've got a public event if you're in the Middle Tennessee area coming up in the fall, I think, um, with all the social distancing practices that we can have in place. Uh, it's called Shadow Mood. It's an annual public event, right? Yep. Um, so check down in the description. All the ways that you can uh, find them are going to be down there. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the videos, all that kind of fun stuff. Hail, and I'll see you in the next one. Hail.